So before we get into this week's video guys, I just want to give a massive shout out to the names that you're seeing on the screen just now. These people support me on Patreon and if you want to support me on Patreon as well, the links will be in the video description below. But for just now, let's get on to this week's vlog. It's Mosca here bringing you another vlog and today it is going to be a really interesting topic. What topic do you think it's going to be? Well, pretty sure the, the, the description and the title and the thumbnail of this video will have given it away. So I don't really know why YouTube artists start their videos by telling you to put the videos about. Huh. Oh well, so it was good for further clarification, alright? In case you missed it or in case you can't read, I guess that, that's a thing too. I am doing a video all about Scottish bands. Now, I just want to start by saying there is a lot of content for this video. I am not going to sit here and go through every single Scottish band because I'd be there for a while. Instead, what I've decided to do is I've decided to pick a handful of bands that had a place in my childhood. I'm going to throw in an indie, independent, newly sort of formed band for you for you to listen to. I'm going to be promoting my Spotify playlist, which all of these bands are featured in. And I'm just going to give you just a little bit of history of not really the bands, because you can find that kind of content out anywhere on the internet. That's not what I want to include in the video. I'm more just wanting to give you my sort of personal recommendations for each of these bands and why I like them so much. I would say these bands are in no particular order but it probably is a little bit of a lie because I do have a tiny bit of a structure for this video. So remember just because I do not mention your favourite Scottish band does not mean that I will never mention them because I plan on doing a series of these videos because there are so many to talk about. If you've got a Scottish band that you absolutely love that isn't mentioned in the video put a comment down below. And also whilst you're down here feel free to click the like button for the video because it helps me out and the subscribe button because it's free and uh, yeah you would get to see my ugly mug once a week I don't know why you want to subscribe to this channel actually it's probably not much point so the little indie band that I really 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 want to give a shout out to is actually one that one of my friends is in we don't speak that often but it is a recommendation that I do have it is the Deaf Mute Society DMS for short they are a I would say recent in the past few years they've been formed I believe and they are very much a sort of local Scottish band that are still finding their way in the world they've got a few hits out on Spotify that you guys can absolutely go and check out and I do believe I have two or three of their songs in the big Scottish playlist that I've got. If you want to find that Scottish playlist it is on Spotify I'm going to be leaving a link for it down in the video description down below. I get that not all the music in that playlist will be to everybody's tastes but you can pick and choose from the playlist the kind of content that you like to make your own Scottish playlist. Two of their most popular songs include Hibble and Tight Jeans. However I do have to give my personal recommendation for Ordinary Strange, which is also one of the songs that's going to be in the Scottish playlist on Spotify. Okay, we're going to be slamming into the next one. This is a band that was formed in Scotland. It was a huge part of my teenage years, but unfortunately they did break up. I think they were only together for a handful of years. I don't even think they were together long, but they are called The Dreamin. I would still absolutely recommend these guys. When I say Scottish rock, because most of these bands are rock, I would say out of all the ones I speak about today, the one at the very end, and DMS, the one that I mentioned before, are more rock in the sense of what we think about them. The other bands are still described on the internet as being rock bands, however they're a lot lighter and the Dreamin' kind of falls into this category for me. They're like a pop rock band. Made up of five Scotsmen, this band is still absolutely worth a shout out. Now, fun story about the Dreamin' and why they're on this list. I got really obsessed with the Dreamin' after my mum and I went to sort of see some local Scottish bands playing in Edinburgh. We didn't see the Dreamin' but the hunt for these other bands made me find the Dreamin' and start listening to some of their stuff on YouTube. The songs I would recommend is Don't Fade Away is absolutely my favourite, the Dreamin' song and I'm There is another one. Again, both these songs will be found in the playlist that I've got. But when I was on YouTube at the beginning of YouTube's era, I was one of those little weirdos that would take music and edit it to things like Lion King and Spirit and Bolo and, and, and Dragon Ball Z because I was just one of those weirdos. That was how I started my video production editing world was by making these what were called AMVs, animated music videos at the time. Now the really interesting thing about this is the Dreamin' actually found one of my videos that I did 
into one of their songs and then proceeded to put it on their website. And the reason why this is so significant is I remember I was very young at the time, I think I was only about 15 or 16 when this happened and it was like a huge deal for me. So the thing about it that annoyed me but I still understand why they did it is they took the intro off my video. The intro was actually what gave my name as the editor and the creator of the content but they took it out because the intro featured a different song and I remember being really young and thinking they've, they've cut that intro off now nobody knows that the video like there's no credit coming back to me as the video creator and I was a bit bummed out about it and that true story is why I started watermarking every video I have that is why my little fox Moscow will always remain in the corner of every video I do to watermark all my content so that even if the beginning of my video is chopped off if somebody's editing or using my video content for anything else she will guarantee that people will be able to find me as a result. That is the true story of why this little fox is at the bottom of every single one of my videos. I just thought that'd be an interesting little bit of knowledge for you guys as to why she's always present on my video content. The drummer spoke to me quite a bit through Facebook. We were we were chatting, messaging each other, not in a weird way because he was a little bit older than me. It was just like he was saying it was really cool to meet a fan that actually done something with their work and helped other people find out who they were and he thought it was really cool and I was like mom mom I'm getting attention from like the band members how cool is this? The Draymond definitely get a shout out and, and I would have loved it if this band had continued I would have loved to have seen where they would have went what they would have produced now and yeah, I loved this band. The next band that I'm going to be bringing up is another one from my childhood. This is going back even further than the dream, and though this is going back to when I was very young, and I believe when I was in primary school. So when I was about 10, 11 years old. And this is Travis. Brilliant band, brilliant Scottish band. Some of their hits were proper hits. They were on the radio, they were getting played everywhere. Unlike the last two bands that I've mentioned, I don't think their stuff has ever made it onto conventional radio channels. I could be wrong. Travis absolutely did make it onto the radio. And I remember sitting in my granny's house and I had my homework to write. Every single day at the end of school we would get given five words that we had to put into sentences for our homework. And I remember my gran would help me with this. And one of the words I got given was rain. And actually one of Travis's songs that was playing in the background whilst we were trying to come up with a sentence was Why Does It Always Rain On Me? Fantastic track by the way. You definitely have to go and listen to that one. If you've not already, you might have a really good taste and I've heard this before but that ended up being the sentence that I wrote that day and I have such a vivid memory of sitting at my grand's black table writing out you know about listening to the track Why Does It Always Rain On Me by Travis. I, I remember writing that as one of my sentences for homework so clearly even although I must have only been about 10 years old. They're not really producing music anymore together. The last album that they released was 2013 from what I could see so but all of their old stuff is phenomenal and is still worth listening to. Now Travis is another one of those bands that it, it's classed as a rock band but it isn't your Linkin Park level rock like angry, angry like like crawling in my skin is not like that. It's the soft, subtle music that could go on the radio and you wouldn't even really know that it was rock but it, it is so it's like really soft soft rock. So just to anybody that's getting nervous about me mentioning the word rock all the time, these bands are very soft, very poppy rock and that is no different to this second to last one which is arguably the one that, that means the most to me out of almost any, I think, Scottish band. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say for sure. I was brought up on this band. I stopped listening to their content for age, for years, probably even for like a decade. Only recently when I was actually looking up making this Scottish playlist, did I learn that this was a Scottish band? Didn't know it at the time, who knew? And that that just changed everything. And I started listening to their music again and I am still so in love with this band. Now, for clarification, we're talking about bands that formed in Scotland, okay? This band would be classed as Scottish, even though two of the main, like the lead singer and two of the lead band members are Irish, the band met and formed in Scotland. So that makes them a Scottish band. Because if that doesn't make them Scottish, then ACDC by definition would be a Scottish band. Even although they were formed in Australia, they have two lead singers who are Scottish. So we're not going by that. 
because then ACDC would be classed as a Scottish band and they're not according to the internet. So because they're not classed as a Scottish band, that means that this band is a Scottish band because they formed in Scotland. And if you've heard of these guys, you're gonna, you're gonna go, ah, when you hear the name. You're gonna know why I love them so much. But if you've not, if you're gonna check out any band on this list, like from the bottom of my heart, if you've only got one song to listen to, it's got to be from these guys. It is Snow Patrol. I love Snow Patrol. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a diehard fan. I have listened to all of the albums and I know all of their songs and all their content. I don't even think I could say that about arguably any artist because I did fall off the Evanescence bandwagon a little while ago. I did fall off the Nickelback bandwagon a little while ago. Well, no, I'm actually up to scratch with Nickelback, actually. I think that's the only band I'm up to scratch with. So I don't know all of Snow Patrol songs like I'm a total diehard, but I have my little group of favourite songs from this band and they are on repeat now, right now, constantly and there's so many of them in the Scottish playlist. And in fact, to make the Scottish playlist easier for you to find all these songs by these artists, I'm going to move all the songs that I'm mentioning up the top of the list just for you guys to find. And the songs that I would absolutely recommend by Snow Patrol is my absolute favourite song, Set Fire to the Third Bar. I have had that song on repeat for like the last two weeks. I cannot get enough of this song. Another two notable ones would be Run and Chasing Cars. I know I've gave you three, but, well I technically only gave you one for Travis, didn't I? I only gave you, why does it always rain on me? Another one for Travis is Sing, another outstanding Travis song. So I get to give you three for Snow Patrol because it's my video and I get to, I get to decide what I want to do. <laughs> and again, soft, mellow background rock. Like listen to it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And finally, a band that does exist. This is a real thing. This is probably why you clicked on the video actually because I'm going to be very clickbaity and put this in the in the video thumbnail. This is a real thing, real thing. And this band is massive in Canada. Canada love, Canadians love this band. It is Ailstorm. Now are they a rock band? Yes they are. However, they're not a soft rock band. They're not a pop rock band. They are a pirate metal rock band. Now again, I would say, even although I've said metal and people, I don't know if people are like me and when they hear the word metal, they think, ah. <coughs> How did they do that? <clears throat> All my neighbors are gonna think I've got, I've got fucking Corona. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, I think a lot of people think that when they hear metal. I haven't listened to these guys' older songs. They're not metal and not all their songs are metal in that sense. So the songs that I am promoting are definitely heavier rock, much more in line with like your Linkin Park and your Breaking Benjamins, definitely much more like that. They are very pirate themed. In case you didn't know, that's that's where the whole thing comes from. They are a pirate metal rock band. All of their songs have a significant pirate sound to them. Like genuinely, you will not really understand it until you go and listen to these guys. And just for reference, the kind of songs that you've got. Number one, Drink. Number two, Fucked With An Anchor. Oh, there's a song called Fanny Boss. For those of you that have been watching my Scottish Insult videos, you should know what Fanny Boss means. Fanny is, um, in Britain known as, as a vagina. I'm gonna get demonetized. And boz is another word for testicles. So yeah, let your imagination go wild there. Uh, Zombies ate my pirate ship. These are the songs you've got to look forward to. Again, they will be in my playlist. So feel free to go and give them a little listen. Uh, <laughs> these get, only these guys could come up with songs like that. And yet somehow it kind of works and it could be totally up your street. If you're somebody that loves that kind of heavier style of music, definitely check out Ailstorm. If you're somebody that likes the more subtle, mellow stuff, check out some of the other ones that were mentioned in this video. But guys, I know I have not mentioned all of the artists, all of the bands. I did do a, I did do an artist, a Scottish artist video, which I did mention Run Rig in. I'm gonna be leaving a card to that one up above just now for you to go and check out. There are going to be more of these videos coming your way. Do you have a Scottish rock band or a Scottish band or a Scottish artist that you love? Let me know in the comments down below and I will feel free to add some of those songs if they're on Spotify into my Spotify playlist. Playlist. Go and check out the Spotify playlist, it will be linked down below and the top songs are going to be the ones that mentioned in today's video. I'll only put a couple of the Ailstorm ones in there so I don't scare anybody away if that's not your genre. If you enjoyed this video guys give it a big thumbs up if you've not already, don't forget to click that subscribe button because it's free and I put up a new video every single week. Feel free to follow me at my social medias, you will be seeing them appearing down, down there, down below. <laughs> 
And you'll also see some of my other videos now appearing down there and my ladder last of the week right over there. But that's all I've got time for, so I will see you next week with another vlog. And until then, haste you back, guys.